Hello everyone. How are you all? I hope you all are doing well at your home. So children, till now you have learned how to identify an object which is big or which is small, which is long or which is short. Depending of the size of the objects, you can say whether the object is big or small, isn't it? Now, I am having worksheets. Shall we solve it? But before going to start, Solve the worksheets. I am going to give you one homework. Just see everybody. I am having some vegetables. Brinjal. Potato. Carrot. Bitter goat. Lady's finger. Onion and tomato. So what you have to do? You have to observe the vegetables at your home. And you have to collect the pictures of a big vegetables and take a photo and send it to us. I am repeating once again. Observe the vegetables at your home and collect the pictures of a big vegetables and take a photo and send it to us. So now I am going to solve the waxy. Okay, so let's start. So here I am with my worksheets. Just see everybody. Here I have drawn some pictures. So what you have to do? From here you have to identify which one is big and which one is small. So just see everybody. Here I have drawn two different sides of apple. Just see. So you have to identify which one is big and which one is small. And after identification, what you have to do? You have to tick on the big apple. Understood? So by looking of the size of the objects, you can identify which one is big or which one is small. Isn't it? Do you like to play with a ball? Yes, all the children like to play with the balls. Okay, so here what you have to do? You have to identify which one is small ball. Just see here I have written tick on the small ball. Understood? So what you have to do? You have to identify which one is small ball and then after identification you have to tick on the small ball. Just see here I have drawn two types of animals. Understood? So here what you have to do? You have to tick on the small animal. So, number 1, 2 and 3 I have discussed. But number 4, 5 and 6 you have to do it by yourself. Understood? So, here I have written tick on the big cake. So, you have to identify which one is big cake and then you have to tick 
understood now let's move to the next worksheet just see here also i have drawn some pictures so what you have to do you have to match the tall objects with their short objects what you have to do you have to match the tall objects with their short objects just see here i have drawn one tall tree but here i also drawn one small tree so what you have to do you have to match the tall tree with the small tree understood so here also i have drawn one tall girl one tall animal and one long pencil so what you have to do you have to match the tall objects with their short objects so i hope you all have enjoyed my this session and again i will come with my new activity and my new video okay so thank you for today